beneath the crust, cradled for a million years, is born a river of warring elements. From here, within the fountains of fire, the timeless threads of steel weave the destiny of our daily lives. To secure, cure. Celebrate. Build. And protect the symphony of our footsteps towards a rewarding future. From here, the story of steel begins with a bang. We are on the verge of an entrepreneurial renaissance. The challenge is fulfilling the dreams of those who aspire to achieve their goals. Steel and metallurgy is a trusted global voice that provides a comprehensive source of information on steel and metallurgical industries both nationally and internationally. 14th of November 1998 was a turning point in my life. The first issue of Steel and Metallurgy was printed, came out of the press. The first issue was handed over, the first copy was handed over to none other than legendary Dr. Raymond Dastur, the founder of Raymond Dastur and Company, the renowned consultant for steel industry. He appreciated the efforts of steel and metallurgy, which began with a very small team, having a meager office of 120 square feet and armed with just employees on board. Since then, there has been no looking back. We have touched base in over 20 countries across the globe today. We have come a long way. Our readership now extends from Southeast Asia to the United States, having a readership of more than 25,000 across the globe. We introduce our readers to the most successful, respected and innovative companies of the industry. We introduce you to the sages of the steel industry and their timeless wisdom and researchery to inspire, educate and promote entrepreneurial and business growth. One of the main objectives behind Steel and Metallurgy team was to create a common platform, a common forum where the entire steel fraternity could come together, exchange views, come up with new ideas, look up to technological innovations and at the same time we share issues of common concern. Keeping this in mind, Steel and Metallurgy formed the seminar and conferences we single-mindedly devoted to positively influence the steel and metallurgical industry with the best practices from leading industry experts. In fact, we believe in building relationships. It gives you a ready access to steel production data, consumption figures, steel prices and a better understanding of the niches of ever-evolving market with our insightful stories, information and images. At Steel and Metallurgy, we believe in team spirit. The publication is run by a team of professionals which include journalists, finance and marketing professionals as well as designers. They have a solid understanding of the business environment both at the local and global level and the steel industry is what they specialize on.
steel and metallurgy, we believe in all-round development of the society. We believe sporting activities must be encouraged to bring about an all-round development, especially for the children, the future of our society. Steel and metallurgy is your reliable partner in reaching the international business community and look forward to build your brand. We have grown and nurtured ourselves as a socially responsible company. And as a part of our CSR initiatives, we have taken a few positive steps. Education has been the core focus area for us all through. As a part of our CSR initiatives, we traveled to the villages of Shantiniketan to distribute educational kits among the rural children. We feel the urge to reach out to the children of rural India. We feel they are the ones who need us most. As a part of our CSR activities, we have started distributing sports gear amongst the children in the rural areas surrounding the city of Kolkata. Steel and Metallurgy was born out of molten passion to serve the steel industry locally and globally. Steel and Metallurgy was born when India used to produce 26 million tons of hot oil. Today, with a capacity of close to 75 million tons, we are the world's fourth largest. We will overtake Japan and become the second largest after China by the year 2016. It's been hugely exciting reporting India's achievements too. For steel news and steel related events, we pledge to keep you a step ahead. Ministry of Steel, Government of India has envisaged India's steel capacity at anything between 215 to 281 million tons by the year 2025. Steel and metallurgy will be there when you achieve it. <laughs>